Do you go Requiem for a Dream or do you go Dungeons and Dragons? I think Requiem for a Dream was slightly less upsetting for me to watch <laughs> than Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Guys, new console. What? There's a, There's new, a new console. New console. No, the Wii isn't. U. Okay, <laughs> you were going that direction. I was gonna go. I was gonna go. No, there isn't a new console. There's, There's a new controller. There's a new controller. <laughs> we got half a press conference. Do you really? The okay. front half. Do you really mind that we don't know what it looks like? Do you really mind? I don't care. I don't I'm care. You know what? Yes, uh, a little bit. I was thinking about this and. The thing that bothered me, I, I overall am pretty feeling pretty good about the PlayStation 4. I thought it was a strong announcement. I think it looks pretty good. I think it was a strong announcement with what the, what they announced. And this is going to seem like the most weird, nitpicky approach to things. It worries me that they're what they're showing off is like we here, here's our controller. We're not done with the box yet. And then their developers coming out and they're like. Here's the head of a man using an engine that we have, and then there's a hey, cage, and it's and then and then uh, you know Square Enix comes out and they're like, we have a very big announcement to make. We will be announcing a new Final Fantasy game at E3. Okay, and then is... and then Destiny Bungie guys come out and they stand there and and what bothers me about it is there's limited pageantry, mm -hmm. you know, and it, that bothers you. There are, yes, there are really. I, I like that there wasn't as much pa pageantry. It kind of reminded yeah. me of Sony's CES press thing that way, where it's like, if we don't have something, we're not gonna bring out somebody to like dance and sing yeah. for you. But there are things that you show. There are hard. There are concrete things that we saw. There are concrete things that we know about the platform. And then like dudes like Square, dudes like Bungie come out just to let you know like, hey, you're safe buying this thing because we're doing something yeah. for it. I don't really need them to show. I've seen what they have to show of Destiny. We know they have nothing to show. But it's cool that it's coming for the PS4, you know? Yeah. yeah I, a... People complaining about them not showing the console. I mean, Nintendo didn't show the Wii U console console when they first unveiled it either. Remember, people were like, what does this thing actually look like? And then we saw how like long it was and everybody was like, what's going on here? Yeah. They showed off like a prototype of the gamepad or something, I think, but that was it. I think, you know, from my, from my perspective, I, I know a lot of people were a little worried about not seeing the box. As long as the specs are nailed down, and I know yeah. what the games look like, and I know that the controller is comfortable in my hand. Like Sony, all they do is they make boxes for shelves. Mm -hmm. Like that's like what they do. Just go make a new box for the shelf. I'm gonna buy it. It doesn't There's matter what it looks like. Consoles about... are ugly. There's yeah. something exciting about seeing. I mean, well, the, the last, the, the PS3 Slim, mm -hmm. kind of ugly. A little bit ugly. Oh, I have the fat one, and the, I wish the I had fat the slim. One, the fat one's okay. There's this. There's the slim, and then yeah. there was the ultra slim. Yeah. The ultra slim, I think, was ugly. I, I like the slim. I think it's a wonderful machine. I, I can see why they showed off only the controller so far because they are sort of harping on like the individual now, which is funny because when they started that whole spiel, I was like, oh god, it's gonna be like all motion control and stuff, and it really like they didn't really talk about that kind of stuff at all much. Uh, but I do, I do think the controller's really cool. I'm sort of disappointed that. The analog sticks are still where they are because that's what I hate about the DualShock 3 controllers. But as like the share button, the fact that there's a USB on the back, the fact that there's a headphone jack, I think all of that is really awesome. And they still haven't even sort of explained how the whole touchpad thing is gonna work. I think that's because <laughs> I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna say we're not gonna like that touchpad very much. Owning a Vita and all the stuff that they kind of bolt on to make that touchpad happen. Um, I hope they use it less, that's I, all. Yeah, I think so. Um, I hope it's not required yeah. for games. I'll tell you what, that share button I was scared about. I was all like, if you push that and Twitter comes up, I'm gonna punch you in the face. And then it came up and it was like, oh, gameplay clips. Yeah. I can dig this. Yeah. But can you email it to yourself? Or can you only publish it online from there? That's I what I was wondering about. Cause I think it's a really cool feature for us you know, people in the media who have to constantly capture gameplay footage, which is a huge pain in the ass. Oh man, but imagine if this. I can only post it to YouTube, then what's the point? Imagine the issue they're gonna have with leaks. Oh, oh god. my gosh, that's gonna be crazy. But um, as far as far as other stuff we saw, you you mentioned David Cage's demo, which I thought was hilarious, because, well, sure. Of course you can render a really good looking face. You're not rendering anything else right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was beautiful. Yeah. But I thought it was so funny that David Cage came out and was like, this is the best technology we have. And then Media, Media Molecule came out with a notepad uh -huh. and I fell in love with Media Molecule. Yeah, yeah. no, that's <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, 
Yeah, it's that's it's like those the people who could do really really realistic drawings mm -hmm. of stuff with like a ballpoint pen or with like a, with graphite, and you're like, that's very realistic. It has no soul. <laughs> you you traced a photograph which was captured with a machine. Like congratulations, David Cage, you made an old man's head look like an actual old man's head. There's no magic there. Yeah. Also, old it's people scare me. It's very technological. Yeah, exactly. So that's not what yeah. I wanted to see. Well, yeah. it's a good demonstration of like the ra uh, wrinkles and like oh. cracks and stuff. No, it space. was as as uh, as an object to use for testing, like the wispy hair and all the wrinkles. Yeah, no, and the, the hair, the hair cool. is impressive there. Um, so spec wise, some people were like, "What are, are the specs enough? Are the specs?" Gonna, gonna be like, is this enough for us? What about the optical drive? Like, there were definitely, there were definitely details still missing. Yeah, right? they gave a very there, general overview of that. There's like, a lot we don't know. Like, there's a whole lot we don't know here. There's something I noticed, and we know that we know that uh, Destiny is going to be a big online thing. It has to be online all the all the time. And one thing I caught in in the Watch Dogs trailer is we've sort of Watch Dogs has been very quiet about the online aspect of it. And it's a game about a city that's entirely online. Yep. And in the gameplay demo they showed, it was like, oh hey, Pixel FD is using, that's one of the frag dolls. Mm -hmm. It's her friend, Olivia. Anyway, oh, she's, she's just up there using one of the security cameras and he like sort of hacks into that. What is, who, who, why is well, she there? We've what seen is the that? We, we saw that companion app, right? On the on the right. iPad. So we know at least that, we know she could at least be hacking cameras and, and, and traffic lights and stuff as he's doing that on her iPad. And there was a lot of talk about companion mobile apps without yeah. a lot of things being shown. But I am, I am wondering about, is this like an MMO sandbox game? Like, I, hmm. I don't think so. I don't, they are pushing the is whole it, online thing though. I mean, I, I thought the Gaikai stuff was actually some of the most interesting stuff at the press yeah. conference. This about how cool. you'll be able to like play a game as soon as you download it, and then they'll have all this predictive software that decides like, I mean, I guess that's sort of like what Netflix does with their like mm -hmm. suggested videos or whatever, but the, the fact that you'll be able to like look at something and immediately start playing it is really awesome. Oh, I think dude. that's gonna help their business model If you get that as good as Netflix is at oh, yeah. recommending things, I'm gonna be a happy camper. I don't like the idea of automatically downloading stuff, and I hope that's a switch you can flip, because there are a lot of people that have home bandwidth caps. And can you imagine it downloading 10 4 gig demos for you over the space uh, But it's I, I think it streams them. It's gonna be all guy kind. Yeah. It's all guy kind. So true. it's not like, if it knows that you want to buy a game, my impression was that if it knows you want to buy a game, it's gonna pre-download it for you. That's what they made it sound like in the presentation. I think a lot of that will just be done in the background with cloud streaming. Mm -hmm. So it'll find the videos that you want and then show them to you and then you would be able to do it like you would if you were playing a game that you own. So let, let's talk about this Gaikai thing because we, we've we all, uh, you guys have come over to my place before and we messed around with OnLive a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And it doesn't, it feels weird. It's it, a weird feeling it thing. It feels a little weird. Like it looks That's good enough the way a YouTube video or Netflix right. looks good enough, but you, you lose some of that fidelity. I, people are worried about lag uh, I noticed it when we played a shooter and we played a fighter, and those were terrible. Yeah. Those I were terrible. I had really bad graphics every time I've tried to, uh, which granted is only once or twice, uh, play like a demo on online. That was maybe a year ago or so, but I don't know how many strides will be taken in that arena before the PS4 actually it, it's, comes out. I think it's brilliant in terms of technology, but in terms of like American internet infrastructure, yeah. That's a big leap yeah. to take. I mean, the idea everyone makes was, sense. Everyone said that this doesn't feel like the biggest leap in terms of what they're actually showing us. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, graphically, it's like, okay, it looks like a, a fancy PC, which is, makes sense because the PS3 Great. was getting kind of old there. And I think that the big leap here is going to be the cloud stuff and, and this kind of the idea of like a streaming game or figuring out some way to sort of... Uh, you know, get a, I guess a workflow for whatever your machine is doing there, so that you can you can play a game when you want to play it. Like to have an instant, yeah. Instant, and and I mean, I, I am intrigued. I think they're playing with this. If you look at the PS Plus now, they've got like a, it's a subscription-based service. I and, love PS Plus. Yeah, and I love it. well, you know, it explains why they were giving us so many nice things because mm -hmm. taking them all away. <laughs> um, but it's like you know, you pay for a subscription fee, and they're like, hey, this month. This game is free. They had Sleeping Dogs free mm -hmm. for like a month. And I'm like, that came out a few months ago. And that's a game you can play for free. You don't yeah. get to keep it, but you can yeah. play it. Yeah. You can sure as hell beat it. 
I also think the crossplay stuff with Vita is also uh, really awesome. I regret. I, hate to, I don't want to be the guy. I don't want to be the guy. I, I'm sen I'm genuinely saying this now. I saw that and I feel bad being the guy who always rags on the Wii U, and that's usually something you say when you don't really mean that. You say that to protect yourself. I hate to be the guy that rags on this, but I genuinely do hate to be the guy that rags on this now because I feel like I've been doing it forever. You're just tired of it. You want to take. But the tag Vita out. and the PS4. Well, that just that just kills the gamepad. As yeah. far as I'm, that just kills the gamepad. Yeah. But it's also something else that you have to buy in addition to the PS. I already own Together. it, suckers. I'm one of yeah, twelve people. <laughs> I'm yeah. one of twelve motherfuckers who happily owns that thing. I'm one of the other twelve motherfuckers. <laughs> it's both us and <laughs> ten dudes we know. Actually, my girlfriend has one. Nine so, dudes we know. One quarter of the motherfuckers who have a Vita. <laughs> you guys are single-handedly the reason that Sony is still in business. So here's the, here's the thing that I didn't see that I wanted to see, and all 12 Vita owners will agree with me. Um, I wanted to see the streaming go the other way. I want to play Gravity Rush and Persona 4 on my fucking television when I'm at home. And I wish Vita games would stream to my PS4. Well, they haven't said that they won't. They haven't said that they won't, but they didn't announce that they will. That they only right. announced the other way. I would love that. That would be awesome, yeah. actually. That would essentially be like the Wii U. Yeah, yeah. It would. That would be. Yeah. That would be a nail in, Wii U, in a coffin. Can we agree that the Wii U looks not next gen? Not unless we want to spend a day in YouTube comments. So okay. No, we're not we didn't say that. that. Yeah, we didn't say that. Um, other things, uh, the Battle.net, the potential Battle.net partnership. Oh. So Portal 2 comes out and we get Steam integration on the PS3. And then apparently behind the scenes, both of those guys were just like Yeah. <laughs> now Blizzard. I don't, I mean, Blizzard has been wanting to bring Diablo 3 to consoles for a while. I don't know if it'll work for any of their other games. I don't see World of Warcraft working on consoles. And that's a whole other issue because there's, yeah. you know, PC servers everywhere. But, I mean, it makes sense for Diablo 3. Really? I knew that was going to happen, yeah. You did? Yeah, I interviewed the the lead console director like a year ago. Oh, yeah, ago. that's right. They had that. So, I just, I think it was such a big, hilarious just screw you to everybody. I think that it was, I haven't, okay, literally the hardest I have laughed since I saw that super cut of goats screaming was when they announced Diablo 3 on PlayStation 4. Of all their games, of all the things they have. And nobody applauded. Diablo 3. I was laughing my ass off. I was cackling. So, but get this. Cause this they, they, they were like, they kind of just came out and they're like, I know, I know. We're not usually Thank on you. consoles, but we are a console game, and then they just list a bunch of their old stuff, and we're like, Do you remember? He listed Blackthorn, which came out in 1996. Yeah. You can't just say Blackthorn. I was like, I wish I had been in the audience so I could have been like, Starcraft Ghost. Uh -huh. That's Tell us about Starcraft Ghost, buddy. People wanted that. People wanted, uh, you know, Titan. We want to know, I mean, you know. So, from, a, from a, like, looking at it from a behind closed doors, dudes in suits and ties perspective, like, you want to make PC gamers interested because Steam is about to eat everybody's lunch more and more and more and more. Especially now, like all I heard when they were saying common PC architecture is, why don't I just fucking build a PC? Yeah. Though? So they wanted to get in bed with somebody who wasn't Steam that would give them a bridge to these PC, these PC gamers. And then Blizzard wants to be on a console, but they want to put too much of an investment in it so why don't we put this game out that got kind of like lukewarm mixed results, reactions, and see if we can boost those sales. Get get that development money so back. So there was a there was a pretty good little thing on, on 4chan where they basically pointed out pretty much everything they didn't like about Diablo 3 and pointing out how they thought that it was just PC release was just a beta test for the console version. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. And if you, I mean, if you look at it, a lot of the elements of Diablo 3 were kind of, they were streamlined compared to the previous ones. And it was pretty much like, PC gaming is the superior master race. Sure. And it's just. I doubt Blizzard would like fuck over their fans like that because their fans are all PC gamers, you know? Like yeah. that's their audience. Mm -hmm. No, I think I think everybody's just kind of everybody who owns their own platform is looking for a way, is looking for alliances against Steam. I, I think that's really what it is. It's because they're gaining such a market share yeah. and they're doing everything so right in comparison. And they're to so everybody. nice, yeah. so they're they must so be nice. destroyed. Yeah, exactly. They're doing so well for the end user. How can we take them out of the equation? Uh, was there anything that like 
Was there anything that like blew your mind? I was really into The Witness. Was there anything that like... I wasn't all that like impressed by the games. Knack didn't really do it for me. Nah. Uh, a lot of the stuff we had already seen before. Demo. Yeah, and I'm not into the Killzone franchise all that much. So. PlayStation 4, now with more objects in it. I love, I love that More it was shapes. just like, how many corridor shooters can we show you yeah. in the space yeah. of an hour now? I was, I was bummed out by uh, uh, no new IPs, you know? I mean, Killzone, Shadowfall, and, and Infamous. Well, uh, Second Knack! Knack. And, no. We're all gonna be wearing Knack t-shirts and buying Knack Happy Meals in six months. Knack the movie. Uh. Knack the movie Ugh. will happen. Knack the movie. I don't like the new... Jimmy Neutron and Knack. Think about it. I, wa I want to say, I'm like, ex I'm excited about a new thing. I'm looking forward to the future. I'm, I think it's fun when there's new things. And I know yep. that no matter when I say something that's remotely negative, someone's going to jump down my throat about how sure. I am being too negative. But if you say something remotely positive, people are going to say that you're in Full somebody's Full of shit. I am, who yeah. is paying this guy <laughs> off? Um, I, don't like, I don't like the naming conventions for the new uh, Killzone Shadow Fall. Infamous Second Son. That is dumb. Dude, that can we talk stupid. about that guy? Can we talk about that guy coming out and like, I was tear gassed, and we're living in a slave state. Yeah. And everybody's watching us all the time. But what if we had superpowers? Have we okay, <laughs> kid getting beaten up on the playground. Yeah. What if we did have superpowers? Yeah. I was so ready for a watchdogs thing, and then he was like, no, it's infamous. Yeah. Because yeah. superpowers. And I was like, okay, move uh, on. Yeah. Move on, dramatic yeah. lighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here, everybody. No, <laughs> they, they need to wrap it up music for guys like yeah. him. <laughs> at the same time, at least he was a bit like the Destiny guys came out, and it was like, they all... That was the they most all they all reminded me of that episode of 30 Rock where she asks like Alec Baldwin to act in something and he's like, I don't know what to do with my hands. What if I like, just held natural? What if I just held two coffee mugs? Would that work? The two the two things I have to say about the Destiny presentation is Yeah, there was no first presentation. Of all, there was well no. The, the, the Destiny is this wonderful new elegant world that is the changing of everything. It is the it is the evolution of entertainment. It will change the way we look at shooters. Um, I play video games because they are not reality, mm -hmm. and they showed me a video of a bunch of fucking human beings talking to me in English on Earth. Videos of humans is not the thing I want to see. Some guys who made, they're not showing me magic, they're not blowing me away with this new game, they're having people tell me about making the new game. and I'm totally okay with watching behind the scenes developer stuff, mm -hmm. but when someone tries to sell me something by just having developers talk about it, it, it's exactly what I don't care about anymore. Listen to me very carefully. Take Master Chief, and then you put a fucking cape on him. And if that doesn't make you happy, you have no soul. Fucking capes, dog. I'm okay with the capes. The capes, capes. are next gen right? shit. Right, the capes are next gen the, shit. The, the second- Destiny. The second part Ten of Destiny. 10 years. Second part of Destiny. Yeah. When those four dudes came out. Yeah. And they're standing there on the stage and it just says Destiny <laughs> behind them. They look like a soft rock group. Do you think? Do called you think, Destiny. Do, when the email. They look like a. Uh, like, like a, Journey? Like a modern like, Journey? They look like an alternate reality aging prog rock band. When the email went out, do you think the email said we should all match? Or do you mm -hmm. think the email said we all shouldn't match? And who do you think didn't listen? Because they almost <laughs> matched. <laughs> who didn't pay attention? Um, so no, but like, I think this, I think it was a strong presentation. I think we got. I think we got as much information as we can expect before E3 and before Microsoft budges and yeah. says anything. Yeah. I was really happy with the presentation. I'm 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 gonna buy a PS4, guys. Secrets. I'm gonna buy one. Dude, I have a Vita. Out. I have to justify like, buying just a Vita. Buy <laughs> yeah. I don't know. How did you, how did you guys feel about it overall? I, I was impressed. You know, I, I like that there wasn't a whole lot of like fanfare and like flashy presentations. Uh, I felt like the game showings could have been a little bit better, but I think. We'll probably have to wait until E3 to see better stuff like that. Um, but with the hardware, I was really pleased. I'm glad to see that they're sort of migrating to PC architecture. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the buttons, the face buttons on the controller are slightly flatter from what I can tell in the mm -hmm. pictures. Mm -hmm. I'm are sold. They? They're a little like slightly That's it. flatter. Less oh, bevel. Yeah. Like, they're yeah. like the, the Wii U Pro controller kind of. That one has really flat D-pad for except some Except it won't except it won't feel like it was made for three dollars. Yeah. Yeah. I won't feel like, like a Walgreens video game controller. Well, I'm out of beer, so I'll see you guys at E3. Yeah. All right. All right. Yep. Nice having you. All right.